manifestation. Are you running out of time or do you have all the time in the world? What do you do when there's a time crunch? What do you do when there's pressure from the 3D world? Today in this video, my intention today, when you're done watching this video, this will never be a concern for you ever again, because you will understand what's truly going on. Not that you need to, because we manifest with ease all the time. We do it 24 seven before we knew we were doing it at all. But now we're bringing in that conscious awareness. So I'm going to use three beautiful ingredients today of Schrodinger's cat, time perspective, and your personal manifestation trinity, which you're not going to find anywhere else because it's what I've created for my programs. We're going to discuss those here today. And by the time this video is done, you are going to be manifesting with ease. Time isn't going to be an issue. And you're going to be really excited about being a conscious creator. So are you with me? Welcome to the Invincible CEO YouTube channel. And my name is Didi Pavnik. I am the Invincible CEO. And this whole channel was created to help you manifest with ease because manifesting is easy and fun. And I realized that up until a certain point, you were manifesting unconsciously, not totally aware, being led by a script, being led by certain themes that might not have been of your choosing if you knew that you could choose and now that you do. And I know that the conscious mind really wants to comply with you. It really wants to give you what it is that you're asking for. So in this video today, that's what we're gonna focus on. All I ever wanna do, whether you're a viewer, a subscriber, a client, a friend, a family member, is I wanna see you win. I wanna see you win big and I wanna see you win all the time because manifestation is quick, easy, fun. So let's make this really, really, really simple. And I'm really excited to talk about this time topic today because it's coming up in a lot of my client sessions um, as I'm working with my amazing clients. Thank you guys so much. But also we just offered our next three-day manifestation challenge. So April 15th, 16th, and 17th in the Invincible CEO Circle Manifesting Community, we're going to have our next three-day event. So all you have to do to sign up is click on the link in the description box below and it'll take you into our wonderful community. And not only will you get access to this beautiful community and our three-day event in the middle of April, but you will also have access to the one that we did last month called the three-day funny money challenge. And what was so excited about that is one of our participants manifested an all expense paid trip to Paris that was not anywhere on her agenda or in, on her radar at all on day three of the challenge, not to mention the tons of money that have been coming in from our participants. So very excited about these challenges. Once again, your personal invitation, please join us in our community. And there's so much other information in there, but that's for another time. Okay. So thank you for being here. All right. So let's get into the heart of what we're here today. So are you running out of time or do you have all the time in the world? And sometimes it kind of feels like that little internal tug of war that at the beginning of the manifestation, it may seem like you have all the time in the world. And then as that deadline gets closer, you, can, you almost can hear that clock ticking. And it's almost guaranteed that you're setting yourself up to hold your manifestation away from you because all space and time are, is a place and an unfolding for your manifestation. The space, the physical space is for it to unfold. And the time is for it unfolding in increments so that you are not taken off guard. Let's discuss, are you running out of time or is there all the time in the world? So what if I told you that time really doesn't exist? It does, but it doesn't. It does, but it doesn't. Which, which then takes us into Schrodinger's cat. It is and it isn't. It is and it isn't. And then there's this whole personal trinity thing, right? What the heck am I talking about? Well, you know by now, and if you're new here, welcome. I'm the queen of analogies. So that's why I love to offer analogies for you so that it'll click because these are the everything, everyday things that we do. But first, let's meet Schrodinger and his cat. If you're not aware of Schrodinger, he's a physicist and he had a thought experiment. And I'm going to really just summarize it really, really quick. If there was a cat in a box, in a closed box, and it had some type of element in there that was poisonous, that if it knocked the element over, inside the box, it would immediately kill the cat. So the thought experiment, and it was a thought experiment only, if you came up to the box, you had to decide, is the cat dead or alive? 
But the most important thing about this experiment is that before you take that lid off, it is both, the cat is both in that simultaneous moment, both alive and dead, because you haven't revealed it, it hasn't unfolded yet. So how cool is that with your manifestations that when you've asked for them, they are both here and not here, right? And we usually say they're not here because we look at the 3D world and say, I don't see it anywhere. But now, whatever you ask for, it's like Schrodinger's cat. Just because you haven't lifted the lid yet, it hasn't unfolded yet. So in that state of suspension that it is and it isn't, you can choose consciously that it is. And But when you open up the box, you may not get your conscious choice, right? So my conscious choice is the cat is alive. But if I truly in my subconscious believe that there's no chance for that cat to be alive, that's what's going to play out. And that's what's really powerful with manifestation because all it is is a point of revision for you. So if you're asking for something and both of your minds, the conscious mind and the subconscious mind are in sync, they're in agreement, it's not going to take very long for what you've asked for to show up. It could be seconds, it could be minutes, it could be hours, it could be days. But in the long term of your whole life, that's really short term. So let me say that again. When your subconscious and your conscious are in agreement, and the quicker that you can get them to be in agreement within you, you will see what you've consciously chosen. However, if you choose something, but there's a bigger flooding of the consciousness in the subconscious that's bigger than the conscious choice, you're not going to see what it is that you've asked for depending on how balanced or imbalanced that equation is, you might start to see certain things show up, what we call birds before land in the manifestation community. So this is a really powerful point. I don't want to skim over it very quickly because Schrodinger's cat is very powerful. And I can do a whole video on that if you like, and you can put that in the comment section if this is really helping you. Once again, let me repeat it. One, if at the moment that you ask for something, it is and it isn't, right? that, and, and we want to say it instantly is. But when you go about the 3D world in the little bit of time and space, if it hasn't shown up yet, all that means is that the subconscious is still flooded with the old reality. And your job in the now is to keep consciously choosing it, to keep consciously flooding the consciousness with the new choice. Because when you step up to the cat box and the cat's either dead or alive, if both of your if both of your sides of your mind are in sync, it, you'll get your choice, whatever it is that you've consciously chosen. But if you take that lid off and you get the opposite of what you've chosen, it just doesn't it doesn't mean that you're not getting it. It just simply means that in this moment, the subconscious is still flooded with the old reality. Wow, that is huge. Wow. That is big. Wow. Let me hear you in the comments. Mind blown, right? And you might have to watch that over and over again for it to click, but that's okay. All right, so now that's Schrodinger's cat. Two, now we're going to get into perspective of time. And the way that I break down perspective of time is in a trinity. And I'm going to break them down. And I'm going to be adding some things to the screen so that you can kind of keep this in your, in your mindset as we talk about it. So perspectives of time in the Invincible CEO world. And, and this is something that has brought my clients so much ease. And it is a core foundation to my manifestation programs is there is clock and calendar time, there is psychological time, and there is simultaneous time. And I'm going to say to you that you are always in all three. However, you may only be aware of one, maybe two, but very rarely in the beginning are you aware of all three. And sometimes that third one can be quite the little bugger to understand because it's not meant to be understood with the conscious mind. It's meant to be experienced in the now moment. But we'll get to that. Okay, so clock and calendar time is really powerful because you know it so well. Let me jog your memory. I'm sure you had a moment like this where you woke up, you knew where you were, you just didn't know when you were. You couldn't remember what day it is, what time it is. You can kind of discern a little bit if it's nighttime or daytime, but in that moment, you're so like a little groggy or out of it that it's like, you don't know if it's what day of the week it is. You don't know what number of the month it is. You don't know what time it is. And right away, what do we do? We start to identify with what's around us. So we start to look out a window. Is it day? Is it night? Um, and you feel safe because you're in a room or a space that you're aware of. 
It's just the whole programming hasn't come in yet. So what do we do when we pick up a phone? We look for a clock. We look for a calendar. So clock and calendar time is what I'm going to call when we get into the personal trinity, the character. The character in your personal trinity is always bound to clock and calendar time. And most of the time when you enter into the manifestation world, that's what you believe in because it's it, it's a linear progression that allowed you to feel safe in the unfolding of just your daily life. Every day you're manifesting in every second and, and your day is unfolding until you're done and you go to sleep at night. So clock and calendar time are really, they're not time in the sense that you've been taught, they're time in the sense of they are a locator. Just like, and I've used this example often, if I say to you, meet me on the corner at Broad Market in Philadelphia at noon, you have location and you have location because the, in the past you might say, I have location and time. But I'm going to tell you that it's location and location. Broad and Market tells you the physical space and the time of noon tells you when but it's still a physical space. It's a fourth dimension physical space. And when you start to look at clock and calendar time, like you do um, street signs at Broad and Market, the street signs at Broad and Market can't aid you. They're just signs, right? They, they give you an idea of where you are. Well, when you start thinking about clock and calendar time, like a locator, then it stops aging you. You stop believing in clock and calendar time, but you still can use it for your unfolding. So let me know if you have any questions about that. Let me repeat that again. Clock and calendar time is a locator. So therefore, it no longer will aid you if you want to stop that aging process or eliminate it totally. And you can come into our revision challenge and do that if you'd like. Um, but because just like broad market, the street signs don't aid you, neither does clock and calendar time. It is a tool that you use and now you will reassign the meaning of it. Okay, so that's for the character. If you're in clock and character time in your personal trinity, you are in character mode. It's really, really powerful. And then the next level of perspective of time is psychological time. We've all experienced psychological time. Let me give you an example. If you're doing something that you really enjoy, and let's say you're doing it for three hours, and when you're done, it felt like a half hour just went by. Like you can't believe three hours just flew by because you were really enjoying what you're doing. Or the opposite way also works that it seems like time's dragging on, like it's a half hour, but it feels like three hours. So psychological time is when things feel differently than what they really are. And it brings you to the point of cognitive dissonance that it's not adding up, it's not matching up. So when you are in psychological time, you're starting to pull out of the character clock time and psychological time in the personal trinity, I call the hybrid. You can come to the hybrid state, either realizing that you're in psychological time or when there's a question. Because the character is following a script. It doesn't have any questions. It just follows the script. It follows the steps. It follows how it's supposed to be going. When something brings you to a moment of cognitive dissonance, that's very, very powerful because you're, once again, just like psychological time, you're at the membrane of two different versions of you, of two different realities. And discernment, more discernment is needed for the subconscious mind to keep playing either the script that you're in or that you need to make a change. So because all we're doing is going into states of being, and that's what the characters are. They play out multiple states of being, just like right now, I'm in the sitting state of being, I'm in the talking state of being, and I can do those simultaneously. Again, to recap, clock and calendar time, you're in the character. There's a script. You've already made the choice. And we've said this before. You have free will at the choice. Once you make a choice, you then follow the script of that choice. So cognitive dissonance or psychological time makes you aware that there's either a question or a new point of discernment that you have to make a new choice because you've taken that part of the script as far as it can go. And then we get into simultaneous time, which is what the now moment is. And what that is, is the center dot. It is, if you were to sit in this chair, and there's a really good uh, example of this in the movie Lucy, towards the end when Scarlett Johansson is sitting at Times Square and everything, all these different scenes are rotating around her. And it's sort of really the 
point of be still and know that you are God, know that you are the creator of your reality, that when you sit still and you let all of the story go, you let the script go, you let the questioning go, and you just sit in pure existence, that you exist before the question, you exist before the script, before the character. You're stepping into that simultaneous time where all possibilities exist, but you haven't chosen any as of this moment. And that's what I call the creator mode in the personal trinity. So creator and simultaneous time go hand in hand, hybrid and psychological time go hand in hand, and character and clock and calendar time go hand in hand. So in this process of manifestation, if you are worried about clock and calendar time, you now know your deep in character. So step out of the character. How do you do that? Ask a question. It pulls you out of the script. Think of it like an actor on a TV show and they're saying their lines, but all of a sudden they have a question, should they stand or should they sit? So they stop and they ask the director, right? So it brings them, it brings the actor out of the character back to back into the person that they are because they need more guidance from the director. How do they want this to play out? Really simple, easy. It's always been right in front of us folks all the time. So if we go back to the question, are you running out of time? or do you have all the time in the world? Let's Schrodinger cat it, both. Until there's a choice made, you have both. But if you're believing in your deadline, that's part of the script and you can't change that. So in those moments where you feel this pressure, then you're starting to realize that you're in a character that may not make the deadline or have whatever appear in time. And now, oh, that's so powerful. And it's it's so wonderful to know this because then you can pull out into this psychological hybrid time and say, I just realized that I'm honoring a script of not, not of my choosing because I wouldn't choose to do this to myself unless you wanted to really have that experience. Some people choose to go on crazy roller coasters where maybe someone you know like myself or yourself wouldn't go on the crazy ones. Maybe just the wooden ones are really good. <laughs> but you you get the gist here. You pull out of the character and you say, do I want to continue on in this time frame? Because if you step out of it with the question into psychological hybrid time and go, I've just asked the question, so I'm out of the character. Now, let me take a few more moments and go into the simultaneous time and let me zero everything out to zero point. Let me give it all back to the script, all back. I'm going to step back into being the creator of my reality because I know that that character may not get her deadline. So let me pull out of that or his deadline and let me go into simultaneous time. And when I come out of simultaneous time and I'm choosing this deadline that I'll get it done beforehand, or you could choose that the deadlines extend it, whatever you want, whatever in your scenario would work best for you. And you sit in that simultaneous time. I always make the choice before I zero out because once I zero out, I don't want to even have to have any thought because it's already implied that that's the reality that I'm in. So I sit there in my zero point. I sit there and I rest as awareness. And if you're not sure about resting as awareness, you can check out some of the videos on the channel or you can join our manifestation community where we go a lot deeper into resting as awareness and zero point. So now as I'm sitting in simultaneous time, there's the understanding that no thought is needed. I'm just breathing. I'm I'm breathing into the body. I'm aware of the body. I'm aware that not only am I the body, but I'm all of this. And now I'm consciously choosing that when I start to move again, I'm going to be in a reality of my choice, of my choice. Now, if we go back to Schrodinger's cat, until you open the box, it's both. It is and it isn't and you make a choice and you open the box, if you don't get your choice, it doesn't mean that you're not getting what you've asked for. It doesn't mean I'm not getting what I've asked for. All it means to me in that moment is I've made a conscious choice, but there seems to be a little bit more consciousness left of the old reality. Let me consciously now choose to flood my now moment with the consciousness of how I would be thinking in that new reality. What kind of actions would I be taking? I would be thinking totally different. Now I'm going to put up 
on the screen right now, I've showed you before pictures of my before and after pictures. And when you look at the picture of me before and after, I promise you those two different versions of me, they think different, they speak different, they present themselves different in, in public, in private. And as you can see, so you could even do a little exercise right now. What would the before picture of me, what would her reality have been like? What would she be thinking? What would she be, how would she be acting, right? Versus when I decided to make myself a priority in my own life, because I'm the only one that can do that. And I, when I am her, which I am to this day, I see life totally different than when I was before, when I was unconscious, being pulled by scripts that I thought I owed, I owed the people in those scripts for me to sacrifice myself in order to be everything for everyone else, right? And once you have this ability to go, am I honoring the clock and calendar? Okay, so let me explain real quick now to sum this up for you, how you can use what we've talked about here today. If you're in a script, and you realize that you are honoring clock and calendar time, which you as the creator has created for the unfolding of whatever it is that you've asked for. So it's actually your friend. It no longer ages you after this video. But if you realize that you are in clock and calendar time, and that's putting pressure on you, or that's bringing anxiety or whatever, however you would call it, you're just in the character and you can change characters. You can, you, and that's the biggest gift that you can give yourself is, oh my God, I'm honoring clock and calendar time. This isn't going to happen. You'll have all the reasons why. And you pull out because you realize there's, if there's a version of me that isn't going to make the deadline, there's a version of me that will. So then that's that point of psychological time of cognitive dissonance, that hybrid moment. And hybrid moments are only meant to be like this. You're not supposed to, if you stay in a hybrid moment for too long, you have too many questions. And you really shouldn't have, once you pull out, it's, I don't want this, I want this. That's really how simple it is. You don't need to know why that happened. You don't need to know how you got there. Let all that go. You don't need it. That's another kind of mind loop to bring you back into it, a reality very similar to the one that you're trying to leave. And this is all reality shifting is. It's very simple. Soul manifestation is probably one of the best videos I've done in a really long time explaining this. So when you're at that moment of discernment, that you realize you weren't in the reality that you wanted to be in, you like that reality, you just want the opposite choice, you pull back, you let, you give it all back to that reality, say to that reality, take it all back, take it all, I don't need any of it. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to zero out go into simultaneous time where all variety and all options exist. I'm going to go into my breath. I'm going to center. I'm going to rest as awareness. No thoughts. And when you come back out, when you come back out, it is assumed and it is implied that you are in the reality of your choice. And now time and space going back into psychological and calendar and clock time are there to serve you as the unfolding. And at any time, as you're going through time and space, if your manifestation has not arrived yet, it doesn't mean that it's not there. It doesn't mean that it's not yours. It just simply means flood the consciousness by assuming you are the character for which that assumption is true. How would you speak? How would you think? How would, I, what I do is I have conversations in my mind and I would be sharing with people my victory. I would be sharing, you know, uh, hindsight, looking back at the journey. So many different ways that you can do this. And I, I don't want to, I want to keep this video short, but it is a powerful, powerful video. And I'm putting it up tonight because we are going live tomorrow. So we can discuss it a little bit more on the live tomorrow on the YouTube channel. But if you really liked what we talked about here today, please take a moment to like and subscribe and share. And please comment. I want to hear, I want some feedback. What, what clicked for you? What resonated with you? Because this is probably one of the most powerful videos I've ever created in all the time of doing manifestation videos. And I feel like you're really going to get this. You're really going to get this. So if you would like more in depth of what we've talked about here, Highly recommend that you join our group. Would love to have you for our next manifestation challenge. 
And I would love to have you as a client so that I can share your story. If you come here on Saturdays, there's a new client video every Saturday now that's going to share what their journey has been like using what we've talked about right here, right now because that's all there is. There's simultaneous time. The moment that you become aware that you're in clock and calendar or psychological time, you can go back into simultaneous time, choose ahead of time what it is that you want, rest it out, and then move forward in total confidence and implication that you are now in your assumption and that everything and everyone must move for the fulfillment. And in that moment, if there's any doubt, Go back into simultaneous time, come back out and flood the consciousness again with your choice. Because once the subconscious and the conscious mind are in sync with each other, your manifestation will come in physical reality. And what we're doing here on the Invincible CEO YouTube channel is shortening that time because you can't get it wrong, but you can make it long. But now you know how not to do that. I'm so excited to do these videos for you. I'm in deep appreciation for all the help of blowing and exploding this channel. Thank you so much. If you'd like to binge some more of these wonderful videos, check the playlist that was chosen just for you. Once again, friends, I want to see you win. I want to see you win big. And I want to see you win all the time. Thanks so much.